Good afternoon. Thank you for taking time out of your day to look at the Luco's webinar describing our PBR uh, and Poly V conveyors. My name is Rob Wills, Business Development Manager here at Luco Conveyors. What I hope to accomplish today is uh, give you a little better understanding about Luco's uh, PBR conveyor, which is actually a powered round belt roller conveyor driven with a 24 volt DC motor, and our Poly V conveyors, which is a variety of different styles of drives and roller sizes. I'm going to break this presentation into two parts. The first one will describe the Poly V conveyor. The second part will be our PBR conveyor. Poly V conveyor. What that is, Luco's Poly V conveyor is a type of live roller conveyor with very positive drive. The Poly V is, a, is the belt material itself that connects the rollers and drives them from roller to roller. I'll go on that in a minute. The advantages of Poly V conveyor is a quiet operation. Uh, we can drive 40 rollers from one motor. That's real handy, real convenient when we're trying to do zoned accumulation or zoned power conveyor. It's very price competitive against belt-driven live roller and chain-driven live roller conveyors. Uh, it's available from Luco as a standard product in 1.9 diameter and 2.5 inch diameter roller conveyors. We'll review Luco's patent pending drive system. That's the method on how, we're, how we connect, the, we fasten the poly V shift to the rollers. This is a spec page. This is downloadable from our website. This one happens to be for the uh, Poly V19, which is Poly V1.9 roller conveyor. It happens to show a standard 24, excuse me, a standard AC motor mounted on the side of the conveyor. Very, just looking at it, looks very similar to chain driven live roller conveyor. The frames are the same size, height wise. Um, the rollers are the same diameter. Um, the advantage is that it's a little bit narrower than the standard chain driven live roller conveyor. And keep in mind the limitation of 40 rollers total from one motor. Features of Poly V conveyor are it's got a positive drive. Uh, the, uh, the, the belts are the belts is the same material that's in your in your engine as a serpentine belt in your engine. It's a very positive drive. The advantage to that is it's a groove belt. There's no, there's no belts to track, um, as if there would be as a belt-driven live roller. The length of each one of those belts is fixed. It's such a short center-to-center -center distance, you don't need to have any take-up. It's very clean, especially compared to chain-driven live rollers. There's no lubrication required in the chains to keep them operating or to keep them quiet. And the, again, the quieter than traditional power roller conveyor from the standpoint there's no chains, there's no belt rat, uh, rattling through a bunch of rollers, pressure rollers, and idle rollers in the conveyor. The endless belts that go from roller to roller have a proven history. This is a, this is a highly reliable technology. Again, Luco offers it as a standard in 1.9 diameter and 2.5 inch diameter rollers. The advantages of Poly V driven conveyor, again, thinking about comparing it to chain driven live roller or comparing it to belt driven live roller. We can, we can convey heavier loads than, than a V belt driven live roller or a round belt driven live roller. We can put closer roller centers compared to standard chain driven live roller. For example, we can do 1.9 poly V rollers on three inch centers. When you have chain driven live roller, a standard frame construction, the closest you can get is four. Real handy when you have those smaller products. We can drive a poly V conveyor and either be powered with an AC, standard AC motor, single phase, three phase. If you're familiar with conveyors, you're familiar with that. Uh, and F, uh, the accumulation conveyor uh, with PBR motors, uh, we can also make accumulation conveyor with PBR motors, a 24 volt DC motor offered from Luco. The conveyor is reversible. Uh, it just have to have the controls to do that. Very, it's very competitively priced. I can't, I can't emphasize that enough. The pricing of poly V uh, driven live roller conveyor is very competitive to chain driven live roller conveyor. how poly V driven live roller conveyor works. So I'm, I'm guessing that most of you are new to this technology. Some of you may have experience with it. By the end, I hope you'll be able to discuss the basic co concepts of poly V driven live roller conveyor with your coworkers and customers. We've talked about, um, you know, that it's a powered roller conveyor. We've got, uh, the, uh, you know, there's a, there's a roller with bearings in each end. We're familiar with what rollers are. This is what a cross section of the poly V belt looks like. You know, it's got a smooth back. Uh, on a smooth um, 
a cover on the back side of the belt, and it's got the grooves that engage into the poly B shiv that's on the end of the roller to get our traction. The belts are endless. The belts that we put on the conveyor are endless, size to fit for the roller centers. These are the key general, excuse me, these are the general key components in every uh, poly B driven live roller conveyor. One of the things we want to highlight, and we'll get to this again, is right here. This is where Luco uh, shines. This is our, pat our exclusive patent pending poly B sleeve and mounting method. We've arrived at a way of manufacturing the sleeve and a way of putting that sleeve on the roller that we've got patents pending uh, in the United States. We have approved patents in some foreign countries already. Here's, a, here's examples of the uh, uh, actual poly V uh, conveyor assemblies that we've used in testing. We have, uh, um, our, again, it's our exclusive patent pending poly V sleeve and mounting method. Each, it, each, each conveyor roller, that's the shiny part there, and then you can see the sleeve that fits over the top of the roller. The sleeves are wide enough for two belts. Here's the top view. This is looking down from the top of the conveyor. We've got a poly V belt that goes from one roller to the next, and it's set in, into the grooves in each one of the, in, in half of the shiv, that's, half of the sleeve that's on the roller. Now, the guard is removed from this conveyor because we traditionally, excuse me, we have a, a, guard, a safety guard over the conveyor to keep people's fingers from getting into uh, this particular drive area of the conveyor. Just an example of a uh, uh, poly V driven live roller conveyor from Luco. We have it in the 1.9 diameter roller, which, which is designated for up to 200 pound uh, live load per drive. The uh, two and a half inch diameter, the PB25, Poly B driven live roller conveyor from Luco is, has a capacity of up to 2,500 pounds. We've actually run more than that. We're safely rating it at 2,500 pound unit load per drive. Again, when we talk about uh, capacity and product uh, live load capacities, we're talking about products that are conveyable on rollers. In addition to having straight conveyors, which you just uh, had some images of and examples of how the rollers are driven, we have in development our 90 degree curves, our straight spur sections, and, and 45 or 60 degree curves. If we think about the conveyor construction being real similar to chain driven live roller with the advantages of being quieter, um, lower maintenance, and lower cost, that's where, we're, that's where you're going to see a poly B conveyor come out more in the future. This is actually a cutaway of a, of, a, of a large system that we've installed uh, with a poly B style 22 and a half inch diameter roller conveyor. Um, in this particular instance, we are handling 750 pound unit loads uh, traveling down the conveyor at 30 feet a minute. Uh, we had to have the rollers close together. Uh, the, the, certainly the advantages there was that it was a lower cost installation and we're able to get the rollers where they needed and the, the quiet operation and this system's been in and running for almost a year now. Where would we use poly B driven live roller conveyor? I've mentioned a couple times already where uh, traditionally where you think about chain driven live roller conveyor and you know up to 200 pound load for 1.9 diameter roller or 2,500 pound load on two and a half inch diameter. But areas you're of, uh, where you might be able to work with your customers is warehouse and distribution, manufacturing environments. That's where Luco's most of their conveyors go within manufacturing environments. Uh, order, from, order fulfillment areas where you've got order picking. Um, progressive assembly lines where you need to have accumulation zones and, and uh, short travel times, tack times come into play there. The Poly V driven live roller conveyor with this, uh, up to 40 rollers per motor is excellent in those type of situations. Horse and parcel handling, uh, we've got a lot of uh, uh, ideas and applications for parcel handling conveyor. Poly V is just one of them. It's traditionally a dry industrial environment. Think about though, uh, it's, it's where we would look, where we would use um, uh, a chain driven live roller conveyors, and especially in an accumulation environment. So we've talked about Poly V, and again, that was a means of driving the, the driving rollers. Uh, can be powered with a PBR motor, a Luco's 24 volt DC. We're going to talk about that now. Poly V conveyor can be driven with AC motors or DC motors as well. Luco's PBR conveyor is a powered round belt live roller conveyor. What we've, what Luco has done is improve the design of the uh, 
uh, traditional 24-volt uh, DC style uh, live roller conveyor. With a pancake motor mounted on the side of the conveyor frame and the rollers are driven up from a shift off of that gear, off of that motor, up to the grooves into the rollers. We, um, it, it operates on 24-volt DC power. It's a very economical approach for accumulation of product weights up to 75 pounds. You know, when you think about that, that's boxes or packages that can go on UPS. It's very quiet and economical. Low voltage, op it runs on low voltage, only runs when it needs to, and it's very quiet. Uh, there's, you can drive up to 10 rollers driven from one motor with round belts. We're experimenting on increasing that, but today we're limiting it to 10 rollers per motor. It's available in 1.9 inch diameter rollers. We also offer it in a belted zone for when you have a product that may not necessarily be good and conveyable on uh, 1.9 rollers, say on three inch centers, or you're going up an incline. We can use that same drive, same PBR type drive technology to operate and drive a belted zone. This PBR specification page will soon be on our website. And again, what, what we'll have on there, this is, this is the standard uh, LUCO specification page that, you, that you're familiar with if you've downloaded any from our website. But it gives you the frame, frame dimensions, the frame construction, how the motor is driven, uh, uh, how the motor drives each one of the rollers. I wish I could blow it up. Unfortunately, I can't make this larger. Um, it shows the rollers, the means of driving. In this, uh, in this case, you can see the round belts up there. And then given the fact that we're driving 10 rollers from each drive, we can have uh, multiple zones in one conveyor frame. The features of uh, LUCO's PBR conveyor is, uh, with, as with 1.9 conveyor from LUCO, uh, it's from, arranges from 9 inch BF to 39 inch BF. We can do unit lengths from six, uh, total unit lengths from 6 inch long, if you only need that, up to uh, 120, or excuse me, 1200 inches long. Keeping in mind that the, the limitation per drive motor is 10 rollers from one drive motor, but we can make unit lengths up to what you need. Fixed speed drives from 20 feet per minute up to 250 feet a minute are standard. Uh, the power source, again, is 24 volt DC. Zone lengths can be multiples of 6 inches to 96 inches. 96 inch zones would probably have rollers on uh, uh, much further centers than 3 inch centers to keep the limit of the uh, rollers to 10 from each drive. Standard roller centers from LUCO are 3 inch, 4 and a half inch, and 6 inch centers. Again, our standard construction for a uh, poly V conveyor, excuse me, a PBR conveyor is uh, 1.9 inch diameter galvanized rollers with ABEC bearings. Nice quiet operating bearings. Advantages, uh, you know, when you think about other types of, of accumulation conveyor, whether it's line shaft driven live roller conveyor with brake zones, uh, belt driven live roller uh, conveyor or um, V belt driven live roller conveyor with pressure systems that, that raise and lower the belts up against the drives. We think about it, the advantages of PBR where there's clean, it's a clean operating piece of equipment. It doesn't require any pneumatics. No air source is required to have accumulation. Transfers require air um, that we're working on the uh, 24 volt DC power transfer as well. Right now we got air, air pneumatics for the transfers. It's quieter than traditional power roller conveyor. Because think about it, it only runs when it needs to run. All the rollers are held under tension by the, by the uh, um, round belts that keep the rollers um, uh, under, under, print, under tension so they don't rattle in the frame. It's got low cost 24 volt DC technology. We can accumulate in curves or inclines, which uh, with traditional styles of accumulation conveyor was very, very costly or maybe even unavailable. We can run uh, our uh, PBR conveyor with a PLC or we have our standard Aussie uh, Luco logic system. Either way, if we can do that for uh, standard accumulation or if we need specific zone and traffic controls, then we can use a PLC. Because the conveyor, it's, uh, it, it's not, it doesn't look much more than a gravity roller conveyor with some, with, uh, it, it, the insulation costs for that are significantly less, especially compared to traditional power roller conveyor system. So we're going, how does power round belt driven live roller conveyor work? So I'm sure that some of you are familiar with it, but I want to make sure that you are aware of how we do it at Loop Call. There's, a, there's four key elements, of course, uh, in, uh, not of course, there's four key elements in, the, um, in any PBR conveyor construction. And the first one and the key one is a 24 volt DC power motor. Power motor. This motor is fastened to the side of the conveyor, it has a uh, shaft with a flat on it, we put a shiv on it, and that drives up to each one of the uh, 1.9 inch groove rollers that are in the carry, main carrying surface. 
in order to make the 24 volt DC motor operate, we have a drive card available, and the standard uh, drive card is the zero pressure accumulation drive card with built in accumulation logic. What, of course, we need is to know when a product is present or not present, and each, each zone requires a photo sensor. The photo eye uh, detects whether a part, product is present or not present. The settings on the drive card tell it to run or not run, depending upon the circumstances. And then, of course, the drive car tells the motor to run. When the motor runs, the rollers turn. It's actually pretty simple. Here's a couple examples of um, what, what we've done. What, one installation where we had the uh, roller set low in the frame, and we had 24-volt um, DC PBR motors, and there's a drive car that's fastened to, uh, attached to the conveyor, connected to the motors. The photo eyes are up on top of the conveyor. And all the wiring just runs right in, right in the conveyor system channel. It's all low voltage, 24 volt DC. It's safe, intrinsically safe, and the, uh, um, uh, the there's uh, the, just the wires that have to go in there are the ones that connect from the power supply to power supplies inside a box like this, connects up to the drive card and then powers the drive motor, and um, also operates the photo eyes. The drive card controls the logic, which controls the conveyor and allows the conveyor to operate. This is an example of a system. I wish I had a picture of. We had a picture of the uh, uh, belted zones, and this should still say 75 pounds per zone. Looks like I didn't fix this part right here. 75 pounds per zone with a belted zone. That's one where we got the oddly shaped products, where the product might not convey on rollers on three-inch centers, or we're going to go up inclines or declines. Otherwise, the control logic and the operation is the same. We have our uh, uh, the standard conveyor components uh, already in in production and uh, and out in the field installed. We're working on our tapered roller curves using the PBR style drive merges and spurs. The 90 90 degree round belt and timing belt transfers real similar to what we would do for when you think about uh, the, the options available in mine shaft conveyor. We're going to have in our PBR conveyor uh, gas spring assisted gates. You have power rollers inside the gate. The gas sink gas springs um, help the lift of the gate section for, op for personnel to pass through a conveyor section. We also have uh, pop-up pop wheel diverters for those for higher speed sortation systems. High speed for us anyway, so about 20, 25 products a minute, something along those lines, maybe 30. We're, those are all in development. We'll soon be launching those in another, uh, in a short time, and we'll have another webinar about the components that go into the PBR conveyor. Now, where, do you, where can you use powered round belt live roller conveyor from LUCO? Again, the same, a similar, uh, similar as you would, is keeping in mind that the products that it conveys are way up to 75 pounds. That's ideal. When you have zone accumulation or need zone accumulation uh, for handling 75 pound loads or under, um, that's where you think about PBR. We can make it in transportation where they run all the time based upon an on-off switch. We got zero pressure accumulation. We can do true, not true non-contact zero pressure accumulation as well. We can do indexing or slug release and accumulation. Again, this is all up, uh, available from LUCO as a standard, uh, as a standard construction. And LUCO Logic is, is our logic platform which allows this conveyor to be easily controlled and operated. You can use uh, PBR conveyor and, as inclines or declines. I've mentioned that a couple of times, but, but have zoned accumulation on incline. That's, that's, that's a nice way to use this product, keeping in mind the product limitation. We reviewed um, uh, the Poly-B style drive conveyor. We've reviewed our PBR 24 volt DC um, uh, drive roller con powered round belt roller conveyor. I'm just going to go through a pricing example of one of our Poly-Bs. So for those of you who have been signed up for in our in our customer online sales portal, this is to show you just how easy it is. So bear with me if I get to that. Um, there we go. Should be able to get to this right. Here. And again, I've already been I've already logged in and signed up, uh, so I have a login and a password. The um, when you when you sign into uh, when you get signed up and, and sign the NDA, you can also log into Luco's uh, uh, online website. Just uh, to go through an example, when we when we price the um, Poly V conveyor. We've, we went and we've chosen Poly-B conveyor. We picked the style of conveyor that we want. 
and 1.9 or 2.5 inch diameter. Again, this going back to this is poly v driven live roller conveyor. So we get packages, in this case, our application is such that we got 75 pound or less products. We're looking for something that's got rollers on three inch centers due to the product size and configuration. We'll choose, um, in this case, I'm going to pick 18 inch wide, uh, 18 inch effective width, uh, poly V driven style conveyor, and we'll go with a section length, uh, unit length of 20 inches. But what happens is you pick the lengths, you can type in whatever length you want. Um, if you wanted it to be 100 or 96 inches long, just type it in, you got 96 inches. It would change the length of the conveyor to 8 foot. Our standard bearings are ABEC bearings in a, in a 1.9 galvanized roller. Our standard side channels have 3.5 uh, on the non-drive side and 5 inch on the drive, uh, on the drive side of the conveyor. Um, in this case, um, we're going to go, we're going to make it go 60 feet a minute. 60 feet a minute. Our standard drive section is um, our standard drive is a center drive. I apologize. I wish I could make the screen bigger so I don't keep sliding the stuff back and forth and popping up and down. When you're on your own computer, it's easier than this. Um, we're going to go with a standard AC motor, uh, 460 volt power, totally enclosed fan cooled. There's options available. Let's see. There we go. Options available on the voltage. So if you only have 115 volt motors, for example, you can you can use those too. The style of uh, the motor requirement will change down here. Now, one of the things I want to point out is that the price right up here for this piece of conveyor, right now we're talking about one that's uh, 18 inch effective width, 96 inches long, three inch centers. The price shows up right up there. But let's say, well, what if we want to have a three phase motor instead of a single phase motor? We can put that price, we change the motor configuration, the price updates live right for you. Confirmation of what you've quoted is over on the right hand side of the screen. Um, in this case, we, we've got the, we've got the motor in there. We went with standard Luco Blue. We'll include some floor support. Seeing as I've already done this one, so we're already in here. Let's just change the elevation to 24-inch um, elevation, and 24-inch elevation on the exit end. And as you can see, the lot, the the um, the price changes live depending on the elevation. So if you wanted to see, well, what is it if it's 48-inch elevation? Just make the changes right here. Uh, just kind of because we have. Uh, Roller conveyor will keep this running level, and the price changes live. We use heavy-duty supports when we use power conveyor here at Luco, which I highly recommend. Welded well cross members, uh, good solid 3,000 pound capacity supports. The conveyor might not need it, but your 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 customer will appreciate the robustness of our supports. Knee braces, whether you need them or not. Um, often, I would suggest getting uh, approval drawings on the conveyor. It only adds two days truly to our lead time. Our lead times do include um, the, the engineering time to process the drawings, um, and that's I would recommend doing that. And if you have special requirements, if you click that and send an email to Luco, we'll be able to add special requirements. Maybe you need a, a conveyor finish that's not on there. Maybe you need a, um, uh, a different kind of motor which isn't available from there. Maybe you need some custom controls. Any one of those, we can add those right into your configured price, and you're able to download that price right after right after your, uh, uh, right after we get that entered in there for you. Now what this does is, um, uh, th this brings up a summary, price, a summary page on your, uh, a summary page of what you quoted, the, to the total net price to the distributors right there. Um, the lead time will show up on, um, on, should have showed that to you. The lead time will show up down here at, there it is. The lead time 16 business days. Right now, that'd be pretty aggressive. This type of conveyor is running about 30 business days. Check with the factory. If you've got lead time critical information, always check with the factory first. There. We've, we've taken some time today um, and appreciate you taking time today, I should put it that way, to listen to a presentation of uh, Luco's Poly B um, live roller conveyor and the PBR conveyor demonstration. We welcome any phone calls at, at uh, any phone calls to our sales department. We also uh, welcome you to visit our website at www.lucoinc.com. And stay tuned for another webinar of chain conveyors. I think we have next one's going to be chain roller conveyors, chain to roller, roller conveyors coming up in the next couple of weeks. We appreciate you taking time to listen today and have a great day.